Okay, uh, PGC students, uh, welcome to my tutorial. Um, I haven't done one of these before, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, following Greg's email, he said that a few people were struggling to lay out um, their work how he wanted. Um, so I thought I'd do a quick tutorial to show you how to do it. Whenever I want to learn something on the computer, I usually go to YouTube and it tells me how to do so, but um, with Pebblepad it's not as well known, so I guess I'm going to have to do it myself. So here we go. Um, I created a reflective portfolio kind of demonstration thing here, so I'm going to walk you through exactly how I set mine out. Um, so blank canvas here, we've got all our patches on the left hand side here. Um, Emma specifically, she said that basically what she's done in the past is write her, I don't know what is it, patch for here, then highlight it, go to assets, and link it that way. And that's all well and good because Greg can see it, but he can't, um, he basically doesn't want to download it. So, best way to do it is just go to your um, Word document, whatever it was, someone's patch for here. Oh, it's not there. Um, anyway, go to patch four, highlight your work document, see if I can get one. Um, let's pretend it's lesson plan. Uh, wait for that to load. Um, so basically just yeah, highlight everything, copy it, right click. Uh, copy and then paste it in your um, patch 4 so wherever you've got 1, 2, 3 and 4 get your patch click the little edit sign up here in the big box right um, press hold control and then press V if you're on a Windows computer uh, I'm not sure what it is for Mac because I don't use them but good luck with that try and find it um, I don't think you can right click and press paste. Um, so there you are, copy paste and that pretty much will do you Emma, so good luck with that. Um, from there, if you then um, wanted to add some little extra bits, so for example, in my um, reflective portfolio, um, my real one, I'll show you that, all the way down the bottom of my assets. click um, it has quite a few little extra bits which which Greg hasn't gone through so for example my weekly reflections it doesn't have this tab okay so you're gonna have to create it so in the demo I'll show you if you wanted to create a weekly reflection thing that looks like this which I've got on mine so all my weekly reflections are ordered so my SE1 um, went to Latma, all the reflections are there, same with Gladesmore, they're all there. So you will have done all these already, but what I think some people are doing is just submit them one by one from your asset store. But again, Greg doesn't want to do that because he's lazy, so um, he wants you to have them all set out quite neat and tidy like this. So if I was to click on one, it would go straight to the, um, the reflection, and then he wouldn't have to go and find it in a big long list. Um, in the asset store. So, to make it look like that, all you've got to do is create a new tab. So, in your reflective portfolio thing down the bottom, there's things that says new page. So, you can click that. Okay, I've already done one here. So, weekly reflections. Right? When that comes up, then you can click text area, and that will give you a little space to work in. Uh, you write SE1 or whatever. Um, Latina, uh, and then week one. Okay, I've already, and like all of you, will have already done your weekly reflections. So all you got to do then to just turn that into a clicky thing, like a hyperlink. Um, you highlight it, press asset link here, bam, and then it'll come up with everything in your asset store that you can link it to. So you go down. Um, I think it was like November kind of time, wasn't it? Uh, weekly reflections, here we go. Um, this is, okay. um, weekly reflection down. So all you do is confirm, and then now when Greg sees that, 
click on the eye to make it look like you'll see it again. You just click on that, and then there you go. It will come up. So in order to do that with every single one, you're going to have to go through all your past weeks and just go like week one, week two, week three, blah, 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 blah. I'll highlight them individually and go and find them back through your past things. It might take a bit of time. So that's something you can do there. Um, what other things? Uh, profiles. I doubt that he's going to want you to copy paste them because they're like tables and they're so big and it doesn't really look very nice. So I've done the same as what Emma did at the beginning, which was just chuck it in as a word file because they're quite complicated. So literally just um, screw profile one, profile one, and then highlight it, link, and then find it there. If it's not there and you haven't actually uploaded it yet, just click upload. Um, go and find it in your computer. So go browse, like um, and then document. Obviously, documents. Go find it. Blah blah blah. Uh, where would it be? Um, and then that will be there. Uh, the profile. Um, uh, I'm not going to upload it because I don't want to confuse myself. But then just click upload. Once it does that, saves it. Then just press refresh here, and it will come. It will be the first one at the top. Okay, click it, and then press confirm. Okay, and then again, when then then when Greg sees it, you can click on it, download your file. Quite simply, okay. Um, what else can I show you? Um, okay, I'm not sure exactly what else people want to know, um, or what you're stuck with. What I can do is share my reflective portfolio with you, so you can see it for yourself, so you know what you're kind of working towards. Um, but essentially, all you really need to know is how to create a new tab on the left hand side um, you need to copy paste in all your patches into there um, and then if you ever needed to link something that isn't a word document um, like for example I've got all my um, assessment stuff that I did with this guy from patch 4 um, you just click on them and upload them separately that's pretty much all you need to know there is a few like more advanced stuff as a basic thing that's what you want um, if you want to know how I did various other things um, just comment and I'll try and make, make another tutorial so you can see that but until then uh, I'll see you later bye guys